Yo guys, so before we get into this video, I just want to talk to you about foottrading.co.uk. This is a website set up by myself and Dan, aka V273. We brought together our market knowledge into one place to help you guys trade on FIFA. There are free trading guides on here, which are literally them ones there. They teach you how to trade with special cards, icons, and silver cards. All of those are massively profitable methods on this game. We've also got paid for areas, which is £10 a month. That gets access to spreadsheets for special cards, for icons and for silvers, with the maximum buy prices and the minimum sell prices on them. You cannot lose coins. They are tried and tested, um, li literally in every market condition, and they work very, very well. We have people who have made 3.5 million coins in a week. Even people who do it once a week are making sort of five, 600k from the trading. It is very, very good. And for £15, you get access to a live deals area, which is where we're going to be putting all the live filters we come up with. As you guys have seen in the 0 to 2 million series, I'm pretty good at finding sniping filters and stuff like that. We're going to start putting those into that live filters area for you guys to make as many coins as possible. That is £15 a month for those, and we update that as often as we possibly can. You also get access to our tool, the ChemStyle Calculator, which was built. Essentially, let's say, for example, you buy a card that's not on the spreadsheet, because some aren't on the spreadsheet, we are adding lows all the time, but there are literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of ChemStyle uh, cards on this account. But let's say, for example, you buy a card for £25,000. Uh, 25000 not 25 coins. And you say, Hunter... I'm not gonna lie, Calculate, man. it will tell you the minimum you should be selling that card for, and it's it's a really invaluable tool, it's absolutely brilliant. But yeah, like I say, £10 a month for tier 1, £15 a month for tier 2, it is a really brilliant, brilliant website. If you want to get involved, click the link down below, come over to uh, come over to foottrain.co.uk, check it out and see what you think. But for now, let's get into this video. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to a new video with me, Fastball 40 As always, if you're new around here, please do consider subscribing down below. Please, please, please smash that like button if this video has helped you, if you're enjoying this series. It means the world again, the algorithm's completely changed, like I said before, and likes really do matter in terms of getting the videos recommended and getting us out there to more people. Um, but yeah, we are really on the road to 8,000 subs, we are not far away now at all. So again, thank you for the support, I hope you're really enjoying the series that we're bringing out. Uh, zero to two million will hopefully be returning in the morning, sooner rather than later. Again, I don't know when I'm going to get back onto that account, I don't really want to start it again, because it's probably got about 500,000 coins on there now. But it will be returning, and one of you will win that, that account with 2 million coins on it. Completely free as soon as I get back to sort of get back to having access to it. So yeah, but this is episode I think 15 or 16 now. The League SBC Method to Glory. I am losing count. We're bringing out so many of these videos. You guys are loving it. You guys are really enjoying it. Um, but yeah, before we go further, I obviously asked you guys last episode if you wanted me to do the party bag SBC. It was split, split sort of 50-50 in the comment section. But in any event, I went onto stream and everybody was basically like, do it or no ball. So I did it. And I was going to put it in the video, but there's no point, because I knew what I'd get. I knew I'd, I'd literally called Burnout, and I got Burnout. And I was going to include the clip, but I'd have to edit it down, because some of what I said in that clip probably isn't going to get me demonetized um, on YouTube. So we're not going to be doing that. This is what I got, Burnout. Never going to get anywhere near my team. And it just reiterates to me what a level of scam that SBC was. Even when, I knew it was a scam before. I called it as a scam before. But even more so when you're looking at the the pack that you get yourself. When you when you see it from afar, you're always going to sit there and go, okay, cool, this is my opinion on it. Doing it only strength of my opinion on it. I maintain that I think it is absolutely disgusting and it is shocking that EA decided to stick winter refreshes in, the, in, in those packs. Cards they considered good for the game back in January, but bear in mind, back when winter refresh was a thing, January, February. It is disgusting. There's, there's no justifiable reason for why EA did it other than to absolutely scam people. They should hold their heads in shame. They should be ashamed of themselves. It is disgusting. There's no point debating it. But it is what it is. At the end of the day, we've got Vernat. He's going to go into, an, into the, the mid icon. I didn't cost me anything to do it. I, did, I used a couple of the uh, League SBC players. Players we packed from League SBC method. Actually, tell a lie, I bought a Neto for 12k, I think 13k, um, to compete it. So it is what it is. It's not in the world. The players, I'm just going to recycle back again. That is the beauty of this method. Like, I don't care that I got Vernat in terms of the fact that I know I can just get those players back again. I'm more annoyed for you guys that have either grinding this method with less coins than I have or people that haven't, aren't able to trade or haven't really come round to trading yet that have just gone and put 200,000 coins from SBC and probably got a burnout, a shoals, or someone utterly useless to them. Um, but yeah, I won't really say much more than that. It's, it's just it's bad. It's really bad either, either way. But we usually get League SBC players. You guys know from last episode, we were very, very close to competing a lot of the SBCs. This episode is the grind. Now, I see a lot of you asking questions about where do we get pack these packs from? Where do you get those packs from? If you watch the videos, you will see that. A lot of you guys are like, where do you get so many silver players from? This is where, by grinding bonds packs. On stream, I open bonds packs. If I'm watching one of my streamers that I know, I open bonds packs. If I'm just chilling out, if I'm editing a video and waiting for it to render, I open bonds packs up. It's a constant method, continual. And I, I've said it before, let's be honest, we're going nowhere. We're going nowhere at the moment, so you may as well be productive in what you're doing. 
Open bonds packs up, so I've converted to 56. There's still some bonds players in my club. If I could be asked to go around the South American teams, which I'll probably do tonight, there's I've still got to get the Argentinians, the, the Colombians, the Chileans, all those players that are in the um, the Libertadores and Sudamericana. I don't do squad builder on them. This is where I get my silver packs for players from and from the silver packs. Do never neglect the silver packs. This is where I'm getting them from. This is where I'm making coins from. This is how I'm making coins. It's really, really simplistic. Um, I can't stress that enough. Don't neglect this part of the grind. In this video, though, we're going to be opening up these packs and showing you guys what we get from them and then doing the upgrades into the golds and hopefully some rare golds as well for you guys to see that um, as we build towards Thursday. Again, I plan out my sort of league FPC grinding so that during this part of the week, I'm just grinding out bonds packs into silver upgrades to get to a point that on Thursday, if I need to buy two, two teams from a league, I can go and do that when the silvers are cheap and they come down in price. For example, Al Faisal, you need to buy for NBS Pro League. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go and, and open these guys up. But before I do that, a lot of you have been asking whether I think that the the new packs added, the bronze packs and the silver packs are, are worth it. I open up both sets to make a point. The bronze packs, yes, relatively, the bronze packs are worth it. You get 12 players from them. Now, are they good value? No, they're just of value. You get 12 for 1,800. You're paying for the speed of getting those players in your club. Because what you are missing out on is the consumables that sell as part of League SPC method. So in bronze packs, you can sell, sell score fitnesses, you can sell player fitnesses. You can sell certain consumables for X amount of coins. You're missing out on those. And managers, you're missing out on those. But for the speed of grind, yes. The silver packs, no. 8,500 coins for those packs is just not worth it. Now, I'm not criticising EA for this because I think they saw people doing League SBC grind and thought, well, let's see a way we can help them. But 8,500 coins is too much, in my opinion, for those packs. It is not worth it. What I don't understand is, is why it's 8,500 because it's done on a formula, basically. So they see, uh, for example, a premium gold pack being 150 uh, FIFA points, so they go 7,500 points. 200 FIFA points, 8,500 uh, coins. I, I, for me, it's just not, they're just not worth it. You need to be hitting a very good silver every pack to make it worth it. I open them up to make the point they're not worth it, so you guys didn't need to. Um, but yeah, just not worth it. But what we're going to do, going to get into this now, open up these silver packs, um, and then if we pack anything good, as always, I'll come back to you throughout this grind, but I will be right back, and if we pack anything decent at all, I will. All right, guys, so first decent hit. I need to get Union Berlin done, so I'm very happy with that. Schmiede back, as you guys take the mick out of me the way I say that. Uh, Schmiede back, not too bad at all. Two and a half thousand coins. He's actually lower at the moment than I expected him to be. Uh, but I think the centre mids hold a better value than the CDMs. But either way, two and a half thousand coins on him. We've got a whole City player. I think I've done Hull, but either way, goes back into a grind. But Schmiede back, a very, very solid hit. I'm going to be back in a minute with any more good pulls that we get. I will see you right then. So another very, very good hit here. Now, you guys know I've already done Alfaya for the... Um, Saudi League, I'm only waiting on uh, Al Faisali at the moment, but this guy's expensive card, very, very good. Um, he sells for about three and a bit thousand coins, which is a really, really solid pull. Again, we've already made from those two cards alone, plus the other League SBCs, at least 10k back from the first few packs, which is very, very solid. But um, yeah, happy with that. Again, we're going to keep going and I will come back to you. I'm only going to come back to you for the guys that are sort of 2,000 coins plus, even, even maybe even slightly more than that, just because otherwise these videos can be very, very long with you guys just sitting there watching me back good stuff all the time. But I'll be I'll be back with you literally in two seconds. So another absolutely sensational pull. Cisco Campos from Mallorca. Very, very happy with that. That is an utterly brilliant pull. I've got both of those cards, both their centre-backs now. I've got part of this grind, which is superb. That saved me between the two of them, like 24, 25,000 coins. He's 10,000 at the moment, to be fair. I think the Valjean was a bit more expensive than that. But either, that is an absolutely brilliant pull um, in terms of what we can be getting from this, this method. Really, I need to do Mallorca sooner rather than later. So, again, that's going to help. I think I've got six of their players now. It's just a full back. But even then, I think I've got a left back. So, we're doing really, really well with Mallorca. That is, yeah, I'm very, very happy with that. I'm going to continue to grind and I will be right. And another Sheffield United pair. This one is a duplicate. Um, sells for about three and a half, four thousand coins at the moment, which is very, very nice. Hopefully, he is tradable. He is indeed. That's a very nice pull again. Get untradable one of him in the club. And we can send that one to the transfer pile to sell for a nice bit of profit. Cannot complain with that. We also had an Angers left back. Who's about 2,000 coins at the moment that we sent to transfer pile two seconds ago. Again, now we're back. We're doing quite well with these packs. I keep coming back to you. I'm, 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 ideally, I keep coming back if we keep getting good packs like that. I will be, right? And a few packs later, we pack another Sheffield United player. Oli McBurney, again, another solid 6,000 coins from him. Very, very good. Everyone keeps talking about me being on the red list at the moment. And even, I know it sounds stupid, but even with Silvers, we've done really well with, with them uh, today. But we do... I tend to see quite often good packs. We've got Palabon Strike a little while ago. It was nearly 20,000 coins. The silver packs. But then I do think it's because of the grind. The amount of effort that I put into this. 
And that's what I've said to you guys before. The more you do it, the better it gets, the easier it gets. So keep grinding, keep going. You'll start to see more and more of these players coming into your club, which is saving you coins in the long run. And you'll just see now I'm in a situation on this account where I am just cycling now. I can do a few bonds packs each day, grind it, grind it, grind it. And I'm just cycling packs after packs after packs. And the packs are refilling up other teams, which are filling up other teams. And, each, and it just becomes such an easy cycle. And you've got a continual set of packs that you could be opening up. But yeah, going to keep opening. I will... So Sheffield United for days. Uh, Mo Besic hasn't got the same value we had recently, but 3,900 coins on him at minimum. Um, I think I've got enough to do Sheffield United now, realistically, buying a couple of players because we've obviously smashed out loads of Sheffield United players in this pack opening. So again, I cannot be annoyed. We've done really well. We've done really, really well um, with, the, with the cards that we picked up. So it'll be perfect moving into Thursday in terms of the players I may now need to buy on top for Sheffield United, getting them when they are cheaper with silver supply. So yeah, I'm going to send him to club and I will be back if there's anything else worth all right, guys, so I would consider that a relatively successful um, bronze upgrade sort of part of this uh, method. Really, really successful. What I have now got to go and do is convert the non-league SBC silvers up to golds. Um, and then those golds up. Now, I've been debating something for a couple of days now. Some of the boys suggested it. And I, I think it's not necessarily a bad idea, but I'm, I'm torn at the moment. So obviously, I'm going to try and see if I can get any of these done. We've got four hours left on the 81 plus double upgrade. I want to see if I can get any of those done in terms of non-league rare, non-SBC league rares, but I don't know if I will. But some of the boys are saying, why not put some of the 83s into an 84 to 91? Now, normally I'd be definitely like, no, it's not worth it, and it's probably still not worth it now. However, if I hit an 85 as part of that, even one or two 85s as part of that, you get the value back, because 83s don't have a real value at the moment, whereas 85s do have a big value. So that could be a very, very good shout in terms of what I do in the short term. Um, I'm going to decide as I'm doing it. I don't know if I think that's worth it or not. Uh, hopefully we'll have an 81 plus maybe, but again, I'm not so sure about that. But what we will be doing, as we always do, is the upgrades now. So we'll be converting the silvers up to three rare, com three non-rare common golds, and then any of the non-league SPC golds up into the gold upgrades. I don't know how many we'll have, but we'll see how it goes either ways. But I'll be back once I've built those packs. It will not be long. All right, guys. So we have 27 of these three rare um, common gold player packs. I'm not going to... Three non-rare, sorry. Common gold uh, player packs. I'm not going to sit here and show you every single one of them. It's completely pointless. Most of them are just going to be random League SBC cards. But if we do pack anything like a Team of the Week or anything, as always, I will come back to you. The plan from here is going to be to convert the non-League SBCs into two rare upgrade packs, if we can. And debating about the sort of 84 to 91 and the 81 plus before they finish for the day. Maybe try my luck at a couple of those, if we can. But I'll be right back once we've got these open and those packs built. And then you'll see me open those ones up. I will be right back. Alright guys, so the grind has got us three rare gold packs and two 81 pluses. These packs here, I always say these are irrelevant to this, this method. I, I just do these because I'm like, why not? I might as well use up the players from the, from the non-league SPC teams that are relevant. Uh, the ones that I don't bother to, to care about, essentially. Um, so we'll open these packs up. Hopefully we can pick up something decent from these packs. It would be good. Um, but again, here you're just looking for anything extra, basically. There's, there's no drama in these packs at all. They're just a little bit of a bonus thing as part of doing this method. Uh, we have got one 81 plus pack um, as well. I decided not to do the 84 to 91. I realized I went in 70 chemistry, which is an utter joke again. So I was like, nope, I'm not giving you any of the cards that you're going to want for this. It is a board I'll walk out in this pack at least. And it's just a board. Just a board. Um, is it Tadic? Is it 84? I think it's an 84. Pretty sure Tadic is an 84. It is an 84 Tadic. So I can't be too disheartened with that. That's not bad at all. 84 to go into the grind. And the 79 Alex Kajera. Goes back into the league SPC method for the Chinese Super League. I think he's Zhang Su Suning. I think that badge is Zhang Su Suning, I'm pretty sure. This is a non board. And then we'll look at the 81 plus. These are the bonus packs. But really, the, the whole point of what we've done today is really to get the club in a great position, ready for, for Thursday, essentially. Now, there's a lot of cards on transfer pile that need to be sold. Uh, two rare gold players pack. Let's get that opened up. See if we can pack anything from these. They've been quite nice for a lot of people from what I've seen. Um, for me, not so much. <laughs> okay, absolutely nothing from them. The sort of pack luck's died down a little bit in terms of the, the gold players we've had recently. But again, I've got so many leagues ready to recycle through that I'm not too stressed about that whatsoever. I want to give you an idea of what we have in the club now, considering the the grind that we put in um, and the players that we used on the SPC pack, which just wasn't worth it. We've still got Masonda sat in there. We've still got Lopez sat in there. This Cyprien will be the one I keep, um, ideally. The 80... The, 87 that comes from the other one will go into the SBC this one because he's a striker with shadow on him because I use him in my team. Uh, we've still got the young sat in there. Again, these small in this round, these sort of cards I don't mind using in the long term if I want to use them. Uh, Bernat will go into that. We've still got a few cards here. 
Now let's have a little look for you guys to have an understanding for tomorrow in terms of what we're going to be doing on the method tomorrow. So if I look at, I always get that confused with where I'm going. We're going to the players tab. That's where we're going. Players tab here. Um, so CSL, we went through the other day. I probably won't go through that too much again. Uh, MLS maybe a little look tomorrow, but really we're looking at the Super League because it needs to be refreshed again. Santander, we're going to be looking to see what teams we can get done and what ones we need silvers for. Uh, Liverpool always said Americana. I do pretty much every episode of one or two from each. Bundesliga, exactly the same as the Liga Santander. Liga, exactly the same. All of these ones here, just looking to see what we can get done in tomorrow's episode in terms of grinding up packs. Uh, ideally, we can get quite a few, open those packs up, and then we know exactly where we're at for Thursday in terms of getting uh, sort of them done and bought for um, to cheap when the, when the Silvers drop. Premier League, we're so close to competing now. And as you know, we need to do Villa, we need to do Norwich, we need to do Sheffield United, but Sheffield United alone now, if I show you what we have for them, if we go to any... League, Premier League, Club, Sheffield United. If we look at Sheffield United, for example, and we build them and get them built up. We have got all these guys here now. This guy can sit in here as, as, as a replacement for expensive one of these players. So we need to buy four players here. Still not going to be cheap, but if we buy it on the Thursday, it will be a lot cheaper than it's going to be right now. But obviously, you have to remember, I've also got about 30 cards on the um, on the transfer list that we need to sell. Um, no, which I don't think we're too close to competing. Aston Villa, I don't think we're too far away from competing. Maybe a case of buying the Norwich players just to recycle this one. Championship, I know I've got quite a few done. And Saudi League, obviously, we'll be doing al Faisali and buying that. So there'll be a, a sort of decent amount of coin spend coming out of the club on Thursday to refresh a lot of the SBCs. But again, we should see all those coins back from the packs that we open. But that's a run through of where the club is at. That's going to be the end of the video, lads. As always, if you're new around here, please do subscribe down below. Click the like button, all that good stuff. It's massively, massively, massively appreciated. Don't forget to like the video. It makes a huge difference to our recommended. Um, but for now, lads, I'm out. Peace out. I'll speak to you.